stages, an average man is not able to concentrate in this holy association. So one has to be patient and perseverant and follow so that in due course of time the mind gets ready for the spiritual pursuits. The fourth point is pride. These are the days of hurry, worry and curry. Everyone says, oh, we have no time for any spiritual pursuits. But he who really wants his final magnitude will give top priority to such holy and holy associations. He will subordinate other activities so that inner time can be spared for such holy associations. And the last point regarding the Holy Association is the zealous search. The most important single external instrument for self-realization is an enlightened preceptor. Without an enlightened preceptor, we cannot make a rapid progress. If one is fortunate enough to get such an enlightened preceptor and carry out his instructions scrupulously in his life, not only is he, will be able to grasp the basic tenets, but he will have a very rapid and almost an offensive spiritual progress. Apart from these holy associations, there are other minor forms of holy associations also in the form of idol sight, idol worship, idol prayer, and scripture worship. And the ritual known as puja is also very popular and very inspiring to a large section of the community. This much for Satsangha. We now come to the next Swadhyaya. What is Swadhyaya? Swadhyaya is scriptural studies with a view to obtain spiritual growth. The Jain tradition gives great importance to this type of scriptural study both for the householder and for the peasant. And that is why it is incorporated as a part and parcel of the daily spiritual practice for both. Actually, the two 
main pillars are Swadhyay and meditation. From Swadhyay, the ascetic passes into meditation. From meditation, he comes back to Swadhyay. And like that, he makes the spiritual progress. As has been depicted in the stanza 232 of Pravachan Sara by Sri Kundakund Achai, whose original words state, Agama Chitta Tato Chitta, meaning thereby that the effort at the scriptural study is of the topmost priority in the life of an essay. Apart from this type of scriptural study, why life and faith? This much for the Swadhyay. We pass on to the next stage of virtuosity. A sound fitting footing of the spiritual life is not possible without an optimum degree of virtues. Just as a tall building requires a firm foundation or admission to the medical school requires a high ranking, so also for self-realization an optimum amount of virtuosity is required. When the above practices are undertaken, certain virtues like selflessness and humility develop. But for further virtuosity, the aspirant combines the negative and the affirmative approach. On one side, he gets rid of his shortcomings like the anger, the pride and the decay. Concurrently, he makes a first resolve for imbibing the virtues like forgiveness, contentment, straightforwardness and so on. He has now obtained a fair degree of virtuosity. But for further virtuosity, the Jain scriptures recommend a very subtle, scientific, and exhaustive program of virtue development and virtue imbibation. It is logical and chronological order in the following six categories. The first is the renunciation, giving up major vices in our life as enjoined in some Sahamad. Like gambling, hunting, stealing and so forth. Juwa Amish Mandira Dari Ahe Kek Chori Paranari Eshtam Tane Sana Dukh Dari Duri Tamul Duri Dati Ke Jari In the second stage, there is acquisition of the basic virtues in the form of accepting the small goals and accepting also the vegetarian way of life. In the third stage, there is the development of the 35 virtues of the aspirant of the righteous path known as Marga Sarita, described in many scriptures, especially in the Yoga Shastra of Hem Chandrachar. In the fourth stage category, the 12 woes of the householder are accepted, which are well known in our Indian tradition like non-violence, truthfulness, non-stealing, celibacy and limited possession. These have been enjoyed in all the householder's conduct the Ratta Karna Shava Aka, the Hindi version reads like this. 
गृहे जनो का विकल चरित भी त्रिविध Form the habit of 
remembering God, remembering the Divine, the Pancha Parmeshti with the Namaskar Mantra, this is very useful. Or if one is still further in his progress, he may up his energy pick inside and meditate upon the subtle virtues as it will enjoy in Samadhi Shadaka. 50, strength number 50. Atmagnana Karantarya Nabudhodhara Yajiram Kuriyat Artha Vashat Kinchit Vakaya Dhyam Atat Parava. Now with this, we come to the sub-final stage of meditation. Three special types of meditation is now practiced. One is the contemplation of the twelve special forms known as Bara Bhavana, Bara Pandita. Second is the four special types of attributes which are conducive to the quietude and the purity of mind as demonstrated by many Acharyas, especially in Amit Gati, Sama in part, the first Janta, originally came in its English version, reads like this. Sattva Veshu Maitre Mkodesho Pramodam Klishkeshu Jeveshu Krupa Paratvam Madhyasthu Bhavam Viparit Vruttav Sadamatma Viradhatu Deva The English version reads O Lord grant me ever and ever an affection towards all living beings joyful respect towards the virtuous one compassion and sympathy for the afflicted one and tolerance towards the perverted and the degraded The third type of advanced meditation consists of meditating of the sublime, superhuman and divine virtues of the Pancha Parmeshtan. And some practice in this form of meditation becomes the last stage of meditation, the final deep deep. The final deep deep. The aspirant who has undergone the type of forms of sadhana, his mind becomes pure, his intellect is highly discriminative and sharp, and he can now contemplate all the divine virtues of the absolute self. And in this process, he discards all the objects of the world, his body, his senses, his feet, and even the process of meditation as non self.
in such a state of nirvikalpa samadhi continues for few minutes, even the subtlest defilements of the soul are penetrated in total. Only since it achieves infinite knowledge and bliss are accomplished, the immortality is attained to, which is described as follows in Apurva Ausa. चार कर में घन घाती के जब छेद जा भगनाती जितनवा चरती के नाश जो सर्व भाव बिना तादृशा सह शुद्धता कृत कृत्य प्रभु वीर्य अनंत प्रकाश जो एंड दिस बिकम समरी Even though it is true that it is not possible to depict the path of self-realization in words or by speech, it is always accomplishable by all of us or the more thoughtful and the wise ones in these days, in this planet, in our country, in the place where we stay. Bye. A balanced and synergistic combination of the four ways described, which leads to a state of pure concentrated mind, leads to equanimity and self-realization. I would like to make a personal small comment based on my belief, my opinion, and my experience. The powers of the Prime Minister and of the Presidents and the intoxication of massive industrial empires are far inferior to the great and ineffable bliss of the soul. This is the experience of all the great masters of the world and it is, it is also the experience of a person who is talking to you at the moment. Let us therefore resolve today that we will try our best to enjoy the teachings of the great omniscient law and the wise ones and the enlightened ones will make the best of the human life and attain to a state higher than which exists nowhere and at no time in the universe. Well, I will end Antamangara. Shanti, Shanti, Karam Shreeman, Shanti, Dishtime Guru, Shanti Deva Sada, Desham, Yesham, Shanti, Gruhe, Gruhe.
betterment of the society. Uh, but there are many ways, and I think uh, the, with the limited resources of manpower and others, uh, these three things we are keeping in mind and we are going to implement to the best of our ability. Another question I would like to put is Do you think that interreligious dialogue? will help to attain a common platform where the religions, religious leaders may find a way to tolerate each other and work for world peace? I think they, they can do it, but to be frank, we will have to be truthful in our intentions and our inner inclinations. I just say, hello, hello, sir, how are you? And then I have no love for you. Just an outward gesture will not work. Outward gesture of showmanship will not work. So, if we, the, the spiritual leaders who come together, should have an open heart and a genuine desire to cooperate with each other, if we are honest in our inclination, honest in our inner choice, then I think uh, it should work. If we get 50-60% success, it is a fair one. Big tasks are not accomplished in few years. They take decades. That's bad. We should try again and again with an always optimistic view. You know, like, that's what I want to do. I would like to. My last question is, in all the scriptures, we find at least some hints that stress the importance of meditation. Do you think that meditation is a means for world peace and for the self-realization of mankind? I would not say only that meditation is a means to uh, self-realization and the betterment of the world. I would okay. say it is indispensable. Without that, looking into the inside divinity, the Godhood with He, and contemplating on it, neither I can improve myself in essence spiritually and nor can I do real betterment of the world as is obvious from the all the great world leaders first they have improved themselves they have through meditation in other ways they have got rid of all the shortcomings and become great masters so it is very important and last thing is the people the world don't know what is the effect of meditation Modern science, the form of aura, has definitely proved that even a silent lecture can work wonders. This has been depicted even the scriptures. Ahimsa patishthayam tatsarnidho vairatyagaha. When the cruel animals or the cruel men approach a real saint, most of the time, due to the effect of their spontaneous love and the compassion for the entire sentient beings of the world, the mind of those persons get changed and those who had come to murder them or to do harm to them, bow before their feet and say, Lord, O oh saints, we have made the mistake. Pardon us, we will never do it again. So meditation is useful for our own benefit and it is indispensable for the world peace though it has to be, it is not an easy subject, but we should try for it gradually to succeed. Thank you very much for this interview, for your patience. Thank you. If time permits, I think ah, we pucha, pucha. Yes. yes. You explained that self-realization is an art form. Both, both, both. How can you take it? 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 I think there is a scripture uh, question. Uh, 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 the perfect of the science is not reached. But 